Okay, guys, so this is probably going to be one of the more advanced topics uh, that I'm going to cover in these videos um, that I've been doing about uh, syntax and morphology. This video is focused on syntactic ambiguity. It says, ambiguous sentences have more than one reading or more than one interpretation. So, for example, um, if you said in Spanish, uh, la gente se está tomando del pelo, for example, I don't know, um, you know, there's a, a traffic jam and la gente se está tomando el pelo. That could mean, pues, cada quien se está tomando el pelo o unos entre otros. So that in that sentence can be interpreted in two different ways. Now, the same thing happens in English. Uh, so, for example, um, we've got this example here. It says, black cab drivers went on strike. Okay. Now, if you can think of two different ways in which this sentence could be interpreted, then you understand syntactic ambiguity, okay? And the, the each, um, each interpretation of black cab drivers went on strike is a reference um, to how the syntax is structured differently in your mind, okay? So, a black cab, as you can see in the photo, is uh, a sort of taxi very common in London, all right? So the way that can be interpreted is, in the first case, cab drivers, who are black, went on strike. Hmm? And then the second reading is, drivers of black cabs, drivers of this sort of taxi, went on strike. Okay, now, if we look at reading one, um, it says black, and then we've got like this square bracket, hmm? um, cab drivers and then another square bracket went on strike. Now, in linguistics, um, those square brackets refer to the fact that it's a constituent. Constituent is going to be a very important word and we're going to need to understand it. But for now, we're just going to call it like the building blocks of sentences. Okay, so sentences group together. At, I beg your pardon. Words group together to make constituents and then constituents make sentences, okay? Um, so, and then we've got the second example, which says, black cab drivers went on strike. Now, you can see these trees that I've kind of quite crudely drawn. Um, and what we can see here in the first case is saying, black cab drivers. Mm -hmm. So, black is modifying cab drivers. So, the constituent there is cab drivers. And those cab drivers are black. And therefore, that would be like, oh, that's a racist statement. What does it matter? Like, why uh, why is it relevant if, uh, why is the colour of their skin relevant to their protest or whatever? However, if we look at the other case, the, the second one, um, the second where the triangle of black and cab is together, where um, black cab is the constituent, that is saying drivers of black cabs, you know, Maybe some of them have black skin, many of them have white skin, whatever. That's that's irrelevant. Uh, so, black cab drivers dry. The second one, uh, the the this one that I'm pointing at now. Oh, excuse me. Oh gosh. Uh -huh. Um, this one, uh, black cab drivers, is saying that they are drivers of black cabs. And in the second case, in the first case, I'm sorry, is saying these drive. They drive black cab. They they drive cabs, and they are black. Okay. Um, so this this uh, syntactic syntactically ambiguous sentence can be interpreted in two different ways, and it all depends on what you determine as a, as a constituent. If you say that black and cab is a constituent, you're talking about the vehicle. If you determine in your mind that cab drivers is a constituent, then you're saying that they are drivers of taxis who are black. Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing, guys. Um, but these, these concepts are really, uh, really cool when you kind of start to understand them a bit more. Um, I'm planning to do like a series of videos on um, syntactic trees. And I'm going to try to build it up step by step. Okay, I hope this information helps.